Once upon a time, when I was a baby pastor, I loaded up my books and hopped in my car and drove from North Dakota down to the big city in Chicago. And once I got there, I spent a whole week with a Catholic storyteller named John Shea. Here's one of his stories. It's called The Father of Ice Cream. Once upon a time, a father brought his four kids into a 31 Flavors. Well, only three of them actually came. A teenage girl, she stayed out in the car because she was at that age where, you know, teens. Inside, the two younger brothers th fought over which ice cream they would choose because they both wanted the licorice chocolate fudge with cookie crumbles, and one could not, of course, order what the other had already ordered. So they actually came to blows, and the younger one decided to get instead orange ripple pizza ice cream. Everything was fine again. The youngest child cried because all the chocolate chocolate chip was gone and nothing, I mean nothing, could console her. I get it. So she got a triple peppermint fudge raspberry and a sugar cone and she sobbed all the way through as she destroyed that cone. And finally, the teenager came in because they didn't have anything, really, that, that she wanted, but it was 31 flavors. She chose vanilla yogurt as a protest against the injustices of the human condition. And they got back in the car, and when they got home, the father told his wife, how much fun they had at 31 Flavors. He was telling the truth. Well, how could he say such a thing? They were his children, you see, and he loved them, and he delighted in feeding them. Changing one word, he delighted in forgiving them. This the this month, September, it's already September, our spiritual practice is going to be forgiveness. And by forgiveness, I mean that way, the ways that we join God's movement in healing and bringing people together across any of our differences. So we'll be dealing with questions like, well, how do we call one another back into relationship when one has been broken? When does it seem right not to forgive someone? And how do you practice forgiveness toward yourself? A lot of us aren't very good at that one. So, as we look forward to this month of forgiveness... We understand forgiveness as more of a, a restoring of a relationship, a recovering of the fullness of life. And forgiveness to us is a starting point, not a stopping place. It's God's gift to those who wish to begin again. But where we go with it is totally up to us. Barbara Brown Taylor writes, Most of us prefer remorse than repentance. We'd rather feel badly about the damage we've done than get estimates on the cost of repair. We'd rather learn to live with guilt than face the hard work of new life. I think we want to face new life. I think we want unity more than all the divisiveness that we're hearing. Forgiveness is a tool that we can use, a tool that we can practice with and bring people into relationship, to repair relationships. That's what we're looking forward to in September. We'll see you in our prayers.